Dear students, in this class we are going to see anti-tuberculosis agents. So first we will see what is tuberculosis and the classification of anti-tuberculosis agents. We all have known that it is an infectious disease and that is caused by the bacterium called mycobacterium tuberculosis. Generally that affects lungs but it can affect other parts of the body also. What are the symptoms of this disease? They are chronic cough with blood containing sputum, fever, night sweats and weight loss. But some patients are not having that symptom. So that TB can be called as latent tuberculosis. So this tuberculosis is spread through the air when the people have active TB in their lungs, cough, spit, speak or sneeze. So the people with latent TB do not spread the disease. This active infection occurs more often in people with HIV or AIDS and those who smoke. The diagnosis of active TB is based on chest x-rays, microscopic examination and culture flow of body fluids. For latent TB, the diagnosis relies on only tuberculin skin test or blood test. So the drugs used to treat this tuberculosis can be called as anti-tubercular agents. Now we will see the classification. It is for this we have three classification. We will see the first one. For the first one that would be classified into first line drugs, second line drugs and newer anti-tubercular drugs. This first line drugs again subdivided into two types. One is essential drugs and supplemental drugs. Under essential drugs examples are isoniazid, rifampicin, ethambutol and pyrazinamide. Under supplemental drug only one that is called streptomycin. The second line drugs would be classified into two types. One is orally active, another one is injectables. Under orally active, fluoroquinolones, prothionamide, paraminosalicylic acid, cyclosyrine, terizidone, thiazitazone, rifabutin and rifapentin. Examples of fluoroquinolones are ofloxacin, levofloxacin, moxifloxacin and ciprofloxacin. Under injectables, examples are kenamycin, amikacin and capriomycin. For newer anti-tubercular drugs, examples are bedaquilin, linezolid, clarithromycin and clofazimine. Now we will see the second type. For this, it can be classified into two types. One is standard drugs, another one is reserve drugs. The standard drugs again classified into bactericidal and bacteriostatic. Under bactericidal, examples are isonicotinic acid hydroxide, otherwise called isoniazid, then rifampicin, streptomycin, and pyrazinamide. Under bacteriostatic, two examples are coming. They are ethambutol, thiazitazone. Under reserve drugs, for bactericidal, examples are capriomycin, kenamycin, and fluoroquinolones. Then for bacteriostatic examples are ethionamide, cyclosyrine and paraamino salicylic acid. Now we will see the third type. For this we have two, two types. One is synthetic anti-tubercular agents. Another one is anti-tubercular antibiotics. Under synthetic anti-tubercular agents examples are isoniazid, ethionamide, ethambutol, pyrazinamide and paramino salicylic acid. Under anti-tubercular antibiotics examples are rifampicin, rifabutin, cyclosyrine, streptomycin and capriomycin. So that's all about the classification of anti-tubercular agents. Next class we will see the drugs under anti-TB agents.